Hi! This is where you'll find the lectures for Introduction to Psychology, Kirtland Community College for summer 2017 classes. Now, as this is an online class, it might require a different kind of discipline than a face-to-face -face class that you might be used to. For example, if you have to sneak out to the middle of a barn at 2 o'clock in the morning to get work done without being interrupted, we might have something in common. It's where I am. Now, this class might be different from usual online classes that you've taken in several ways. For starters, the book is an online downloadable book. Now, the bonuses of that are, well, it's free, and that's very nice. The second is that it's a searchable PDF, which means that if you have a question on a certain topic, you find your search button, something like that, type in your keyword, whatever you're looking for, and it will take you to every instance of that word in the textbook. You may have to search down to your fourth or fifth instance of the word, but eventually you'll come across the definition of what you're looking for. It'll be in italics, and that's probably where you'll find it. Also, I don't necessarily go in order of the textbook chapters as they're written because it's not very efficient for learning. And I actually have a grant from the Michigan Community Colleges Association to adapt the textbook to this class. And so that's what I will be doing. While the downloadable textbook is good for reference and keeping everything in the same place, I will also be adding the adapted chapters to the modules that you'll be able to access as I get them done. The lectures themselves are these videos. And if I look awful at 2 o'clock in the morning, then I'm going to put like pretty pictures or cartoons up in the corner over there somewhere. Uh, so that you can avert your eyes. When it comes to quizzes, don't worry too much about the quizzes. The quizzes are not that hard. Um, and if you have test anxiety, that's what I'm going to be addressing when it comes to the quizzes. So for example, on the multiple choice quizzes, I'm going to show you how to take multiple choice quizzes and how to defeat anxiety if you might have it. But mostly the quizzes and assignments are about getting you to use the information because if you use the information, you're more likely to remember it. And I want to be testing how, how well you use this information rather than just your memory skills. That being said, we have an entire chapter that's devoted to improving your memory skills. So we'll work on those too. There's also a short presentation. It's also nothing to get too worried about. It'll be about five pages. It's three sources. And I think the biggest thing will be in that I expect you to help each other out a little bit while you're getting those ready. Discussions will be very different. Discussions in average online classes tend to be just put in your opinion and then respond to two other opinions. And the responses usually come in things like, oh, I never looked at it, something like that. Oh, I never thought of it in that certain way or from that perspective. What I want you to do for mine is while you're reading or listening or watching and taking notes, what I want you to do is write down questions that just pop into your head while you're learning this stuff or being exposed to it. And I want you to rem remember those questions, write them down, and for your discussion points, I want you to actually put those questions into the discussion board. And I'll have four per week. They don't have to be good questions, and maybe you answer them just right after you ask them. But I want to know that you're pondering the material, and if it does strike up a conversation, great. Mostly on the discussion board, I ask you to be nice to each other. Because, yeah, these questions aren't going to be great. We're just know we just know that up front. And if you absolutely can't think of any questions, then I want you to throw something in there about how you've seen this stuff in real life. Or does it relate to you at all? Or is it total garbage and it doesn't relate to you at all in any way? Um, opinions, stuff like that. Again, if it starts an actual discussion, wonderful, awesome, let's do it. Now, while the quizzes and the discussion and the presentation aren't going to be that hard, the final will be very hard. So we're just going to be a lot of prep for the final, and that's when we're going to do our test anxiety exercises. But even with the final being very hard, as long as you've turned everything else in, you should have at least a low A going into the final. And if you have a low A going into the final, you can totally bomb the final and still get a pretty decent grade in the course. I just want to know that you've done all of your work. Because if you've done your work, then you've used this stuff in real life. Because a little bit of anxiety is good for performance and memory, but a lot of anxiety can shut people down. So what I don't want you to do is worry too much about this stuff, that it shuts you down. But if you are worried about it, we'll talk. I'm not here to shut anybody down. I want you all to succeed. So that being said, let's go over the syllabus. I've got two batteries in the camera, and let's just see how long they last. Syllabus, throw it up there.
Yay. Okay. Uh, introduction to Psychology, three credits. Summer semester of 17. That's my email. Um, I don't have an office, but email should work okay for this. Uh, the textbook is there, but I will be adapting it as we go through. Um, if you don't have Microsoft Office, you can get that for free now. Uh, just go to that website and type in your Cape Kirtland email and they'll take care of you. Course objectives, you can read those. Essentially, it's going to be going, you know. Course description from the catalog, technical support, and tutoring. And I'm the most common tutor you'll get, so if you have a problem with me, ugh, tough cookies. Um, but I'm sure we can come up with something. I can change the way I teach to make sure that, that you, you will figure something out. We play a lot of games in here, too. So get used to get ready. You won't get to see, you won't get to actually eat any of the M&Ms that we use in the, in the discussions and the practices, but um, you'll get to see them. Uh, correspondence, I'll try to answer my email uh, at least every six hours during the day, but I can't make any real promises. At least once a day, and pretty much every time I go past the computer room. The internet here isn't great, because it's northern Michigan and I'm out in the middle of the woods, but um, I do try very, very hard to make sure that I'm up to date on all your discussions and questions and stuff like that. Attendance, you need to... Uh, get stuff done because I can't come after you. Um, <laughs> in the middle of the woods, that's going to be kind of hard. To, okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to edit that out. Know your technology. How's that? I don't want you to give up, so if you have a question, ask me. We'll figure something out. Um, I do say um a lot, which is kind of bad for a video. Grading! So the assignments and the quizzes, there's kind of a few of them. <clears throat> And there's 400 points in there. Discussions, 200 points, 20%. Research presentation, 200 points, 20%. But if you have 90% of that 80% going into the final, you shouldn't have to do too well in the final to get a pretty good grade. And there's usually also a curve on the final, just to make sure that you guys are rewarded for the work that you do. And then follows the very specifics on discussions and quizzes and the research presentation which is based on the six factors that Kirtland wants you to have when they graduate but they don't tell us exactly how to assess it so I made it into a presentation format that you should enjoy it's kind of fun if you find a topic you like then that's three quarters of the battle right there and the rest of this is the stuff that you would have to see for every Kirtland class well, pretty much any any university class, uh, your ethical conduct, your conduct, your ethical conduct, your financial aid, plagiarism. Don't do it. Um, in there, it should say don't go to Quizlet, but but my questions don't usually make it as far as Quizlet. Um, they may have after last semester, but I write my quizzes pretty much fresh every semester, so you're not going to find them on Quizlet. And I know they're out there, so if you do see a question of mine that you come across on Quizlet, be aware that I've probably altered it a little bit to make the Quizlet question wrong. Um, I'm sneaky that way. And I, I do know that they're out there and I know that people access them. And if you have a problem that you can't come to me about, then the Statement of Compliance gives you more information of who to contact. All right, that's that for now. Um, I'll have the first set of assignments ready when it comes to Tuesday morning, because Monday's Memorial Day, so we're not starting until the 30th. If you have questions, comments, concerns, please send them to me, and I will be responsive as I can be. This is also a test of whether you can access the videos or not, so if you can't access this video, yeah, how am I going to tell you that... Yeah, that's not going to work. If you can't hear me, then how am I going to tell you to call for help? But um, if you can't access this video, then there's a problem. And also, I'm going to have a quiz, which is just a one-question quiz. It's not a trick question. It just asks you who your instructor is, and that way I know that you have access to the quizzes and can complete them. So don't be messing that up, though. I will probably give you a couple of tries so that you get to see the, the alternate answers. Because, you know, I like to have fun with some of the questions. Especially the easy ones that are not trick questions. I'm not going to play tricks on you for no reason. Um, 
That would only make your test anxiety worse if you already have it, and I don't want to do that. So take care of yourselves. We'll see you Tuesday. Yay, bye.